this particular spot trading trick on bybit i'm going to be showing you in this video will make you up to 50 dollar daily simply by buying a coin low and so i using the bybit spot trading and for the matter of fact this strategy i'm going to be showing you is very suitable for beginners so if you are probably a newbie in the crypto space this strategy is highly recommended for you so without further ado let's quickly dive into the strategy real quick but before we dive in keep in mind that bybit is giving away up to thirty thousand dollars to every users registering using my link in the description below i have actually partnered with them to give you these huge bonuses so make sure you use the link in the description below to register so as to claim these bonuses as well and all you need to do is to put your regular email address your password and you allow the referral code to be there so you can receive the gifts and you click on get my welcome gifts and make sure that your account is fully verified at least a level one verification is okay and also keep in mind you have to deposit at least 10 usdt to be able to claim the bonus and as well they have their respective application both on the app store and the play store so make sure you get the application right after registering and as well if you are coming across the channel for the first time you are welcome my name is daniel on this channel i make video about cryptocurrency trading and other make money online opportunity so if that sounds like what you are interested in i'll invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that when i upload new video like this you'll be the first to watch and utilize the strategy and also if you find this video helpful don't hesitate to drop a like on the video that's the only way you can show appreciation and it will keep me motivated to come up with new video like this for you guys so with that aside let's quickly dive into the strategy real quick so first thing first I want to start off by saying that spot trading is a basic and more all kind of trading system. It is beginner friendly. So if you are probably getting started in the crypto space, spot trading is the best way to get started with because of the level of simplicity that it has. It is basically buying a coin low so that when the coin rises up, you sell high and make profit. So it doesn't ask an expiration date. So if you buy a particular asset, that asset is owned by you. And you can definitely sell it high when the price of that asset appreciates in the future. Aside from the fact that spot trading doesn't ask an expiration date, keep in mind you have to know the right time to buy and sell. Because if you randomly buy a particular asset, without understanding what the overall picture is to the asset, you might end up buying assets that will keep you on the red zone. So in overall, knowing the right time to buy a particular coin really play an important role. So you are not literally entering the market blindly. So I'm going to now show you how to effectively know the right time to buy and sell, which will eventually make you up to $50 every single day buying and selling a particular coin using the Bybit spot trading. So here we go. There are two predominant methods you can make money trading on the spot trading. The first one is by using the technical analysis. And the second one is by understanding the fundamental analysis. These two predominant method is widely used by an advanced trader. So it will require higher level of technical knowledge from you. So that is why I am coming up with this strategy that does not require you to understand the technical analysis, neither will it require you to understand the fundamental analysis. It is simply by understanding the psychology and the idea behind demand and supply. Because in a real understanding, demand and supply are the main driven price of a particular cryptocurrency in general. Because if there is a demand of a particular asset, the price of that asset tends to go up in value. And on the other hand, if there is more supply than the demand, the price of that cryptocurrency tends to be coming down in value. So we are going to be doing everything based on the idea behind demand and supply. So we can initially know where we can buy low and sell high 
using this strategy. So right here on the Binance Spot Trading Interface, Majority of you might have already know how to navigate around the Binance Spot Trading Interface. But for the sake of beginners, I'm going to quickly run you through on how to effectively navigate around the Binance Spot Trading Interface. Then we can quickly wrap on to the other section where I show you how to know the right time to buy and sell using a particular strategy. Right here on the Binance Spot Trading Interface, there are two predominant things you need to keep an eye on. The first one is the buy order and the second one is the sell order. So right after buying your coin, when the coin appreciates in the future, you head over to the sell section and sell. When you are buying it, you can either use the limit order or the market order because these are the two predominant order that you would likely use majority of the time. The first one is the limits order. The limits order is like making to the market because this is the market which consists of the buyers and the sellers. The buyers are in green and the sellers are in red. So when using the limits order, you are making to the market and when using the market order, you are taking from the market. So it is recommended you use the limits order because when making to the market, you are going to be paying way little fee compared to when you are taking from the market. So limit order is like setting a particular price at which you want to buy a particular asset at. So let's say you probably want to buy this asset at 0 0.067. Okay. When you place a trade, your trade is going to come onto the green section. Onto when there is other sellers that is willing to sell at the price you are willing to buy your order can measure with him. And when using the market order, the Bybit algorithm is going to come on to the red section and your trade is going to get executed between the sellers. So in overall, it is recommended you use the limit order so you can set a particular price at which you want to buy at so that when there is any other sellers that is willing to sell, your order can measure with him. And for this section, you can as well choose the value at which you want to buy the asset at. If you want to use 100% of your capital, you draw it all the way down. If you are using 50, you keep it at the middle. If you are using 25, you keep it at the second stage. And your total amount here is going to be determined by your asset value. Okay, so right after doing all of that, you click on buy and when you are selling you are literally doing the vice versa of what you did on the buy site so now that you have know how to buy and sell it is time now to know the right time to buy and sell because that is really the main aim of trading spots in general so here we go this buy bit spot trading strategy i'm going to be showing you doesn't require you to understand a lot of technical analysis or fundamental analysis of a thing it is basically by understanding the picture of demand and supply because that is really the main driven price of any cryptocurrency in the crypto space in general so demand and supply plays an important role so the first step you need to take is to head over to your browser and type in crypto exchange coin market cap and you click on the first result shown right here you click on it real quick when clicking on it you can see the list of cryptocurrency that are in the wall ranking from one to the rest of them so we are going to be focusing more on buy bits so you basically have to click on buy bits real quick when clicking on buy bit you will basically have to scroll all the way down till you find the cryptocurrency that are on buy bits so make sure that you are on spot okay so we are going to be choosing any cryptocurrency here for the aspect of demonstration so let me show you how this strategy works but if you choose to use any one out there it is absolutely subjected to you so i'm going to be picking any one here for the aspect of demonstration let me show you how it works so i'll be going for this i'll click on it real quick 
Like I said, you can choose any one of your choice. It is absolutely subjected to you. So the first step you need to take is to head over to the market section. Because we have to basically know when we can buy and when we can sell. This coin is being listed on Binance and the rest of the exchanges out there. But our main focus is on Bybit because this strategy is in respect to Bybit as well. So I will click on show more till we find Bybit in the list right here. I will still have to scroll all the way down till we find Bybit because I think it is all the way down, down, down. Okay, here we go. We have Bybit at number 35 right here. That is AVAX trading with the USDT that is trading currently at $13.88. So I will basically have to scroll all the way to the right hand side because we are literally going to be using the debt to determine when we can buy that coin low because this debt actually has a good technical value that can determine when you can buy a coin low and you can now sell it right after the coin pumps up by 2%. I'm going to be explaining it right now. First thing first, I want to tell you what this debt means, the positive debt and the negative debt. Before we can now open to how to actually use it to buy a coin low and sell high. So this debt actually means that I want to start with the positive debt. This positive debt means that there are a lot of money left on the order book that is yet to be executed on the buy order. Why their money is being dormant on the order book is that they are placing their buy order 2% below the current value of the asset. And on the other hand, for the negative debt, this actually signifies that there are a lot of coin left on the order book without their order being executed. Their sell order, okay? Why their order is still dormant on the order book is that they are placing their own sell price 2% above the current value of the asset. That is why their order is being dormant on the order book. So heading back here to Bybit, you can see that the amount of people predicting that the coin is going to go down by 2% is about 148000 dollars and meanwhile, on the other hand, the amount of people predicting that the coin is going to go up by 2% is about $108,000. You can obviously see that the amount of money here is more than this. And the market will surely come down to take out this liquidity before it eventually goes up to take out this other liquidity. Demand and supply are the main driven price of any cryptocurrency out there on this other bybit trading with the usdc you can see that this other section here is higher than this so on the other end the market will also take out this liquidity first before it eventually goes back down to take out this other liquidity i know that sounds so overwhelming let me head over to bybit and show you how we can implement it practically so heading back to Bybit, we are going to be using the first one, which is the AVAX trading with the USDT. Our buy price is at 2% below the current value of the asset. Because as it was shown to us that the market will surely come down by 2% for this $148,000 to get executed. Because the market doesn't lie with liquidity. Heading back here, the current value is at 13.82. So we are going to be using the calculator to determine that 2% lower than the current value of the asset real quick. So when opening the calculator, 2% times 13.82. So that was about 0 0.27 cents minus 13.82 that will give us about 13.54 so 13.54 
you are going to place your buy order at 13.54 and you can use whatever capital you wish to use let's say we probably use a thousand dollar for an instant okay a thousand dollar for an instant we have about 73 quantity right there 73.855 let's put that aside so right after your buy order get executed here you come on to the usdc trading with bybit and put at two percent above the current value of that asset currently so adding back to the calculator two percent times the 13.82 that's still about 27 cents plus 13.82 so on the other end we are going to be selling at 14.09 dollar so when you are selling this time around we are selling for the usdc we are selling at 14 and the quantity is what and the quantity is approximately 73.855 so basically at this point of you selling you are selling at 14.09 because as it was shown to us on the avax trading with the usdc that the market will surely respect the sell liquidity more than the buy liquidity so at this point we are going to be selling at the quantity right there so that means we are making a roughly 40 dollar in a single trade and keep in mind that your money is in usdc and usdc is like a stable coin which you can basically convert it back to usdt and retain the profit so that's the whole analogy about this scenario so basically that's all i have to give to you guys today if you have any question regarding this leave a comment down below i'll get to reply all of it so in the meantime i think that will be all for now then i'll catch you up in my next one bye for now